enough siyang threat mm -hmm. pero I'm not entirely sure about the, uh, the match against Brody. That's true. Again, it's still a 50-50 pero I would say na yung Brody Welcome must means ang dumalawang sa laning phase. Yeah. All the Lunox can do is clear pero sa dueling, straight up dueling capabilities ng Brody in the later parts of the game, mas lalamang talaga siya. Ayan, si King sa kanyang favorite na favorite na Joy Jungle na napaka-OP. Scientifically proven uh -huh. and personally tested. Nakuha ni Luis? Hindi. Kinuha pa rin ni King with the retribution. Pero na-force out yung retribution. Nako. Nako, Maro. Here comes the punish. Maro. The punish to a very, very maulit. Uy! Oh. Ankle breaker! Grabe. Oh my goodness! Nasira yung ankle. Parang kawawa naman yung tito. Oh man, good plays here coming in from Maro. Confident. Madami kang pwedeng gawin na play. Yeah. Uh, as especially isang makunat na hero kundang Hilda right now who are still busy invading. Trying to buy some time, but trying to slow down itong jungle hero ni King. Gra dapat walang dala kasi siya yung mag-uwat mamaya sa uh, late game. Actually, that is the thing. There is a lot of uh, pressure on Gado to carry here kasi yung, siya yung consistent na DPS. Yeah. Sa lineup ng Occupy Throne, siya yung dire-direct yung damage dapat. Kung baga pag wala siya, mahihirapan ng Occupy Throne. Hindi, hindi nila kakayanin yung teamfight True. ng RRQ Akira. And now, nagkakatansyahan nagkakatan tayo between two sides. It's a war of attrition and third in the end. There's a pit, pero si King ang nagsisimula na Turtle Hulk. Busy siya sa pag-delay. Hit Akashi, pero si King ang nakakuha ng retribution. Again, nice try from Maro. Trying to zone out Sagan para hindi siya makas yung real-world manipulation. Pero iba lang target. Hulk with a first blood Bigger. in Louise. Answering on the back. Hindi ba tapos meron pa rin siyang way of the dragon. Pero again, the damage is just not done at sa one-for-one. Overall, still winning is gonna be RQ Akira with the turtle. And sila na yung nakuha ng mga dami for... Ooh, si Maro, ang lakas ng hampas! Game, tumatakbo na! Now, boy, with it, a fear! Abot mo siya! Ayan na! So, one for one. Okay. Ang dami pong batok ng ano, ng Okyo Petrons Cup. Nakita mo yung ginawa ni Hulk kanina. So, yun ang nga nakikita natin sa RQ Akira. But then again, Okyo Petrons, 400 gold lang naman yung laman considering na Si uh, RQ Akira nakakuha ng turtle. They are happy with this kasi nagpapawar pa rin naman si Lunox Luis. Kasi mo, si Luis, walang kano, walang patumpik-tumpik pa. Grabe dance floor. Go straight for Maro. Ooh, barely enough. Yung shield na nakuha ni Maro mula dun sa pixel brush. Uh, mga emblems na hawak nila si King, naka jungle emblem. Si Maro nakakonkasi blast. Luis, uy, nag-aabarsi pa. Pero Maro, re-engaging. Maro talaga, galit na galit eh. Croc. Feeling ko, feel yata ni Maro, kailangan niya kasi magtodo effort dito. He needs to get maximum vision para sa team niya. And, mas maganda na siya yung pag-initan kesa dun kay Leo. Oh, Leo. Ayan, ginagawa niya ngayon. Louis Leva, gusta, gusta. Quite low here. Makukulong sila sa loob of the real world. Ooh. And good job, wala kay Fury. Pero kasi na yung oh. magsyad, gusta. Not enough though, with a terrified. Coming in for Fury 77. But it's si Maro papunta sa tower, but it's Occupy Thrones dictating this skirmish. They got the kill kay Gusta La Gusta. And si Hilda lang, they got the trade. They're not going to be happy with this. And again, this is really the problem here. They said this is the win condition. Nila. The Lunox on the late game. The eyes are on the gold laner of Occupy Thrones. But it's bad. They said it's just a turn, but oh, Maro, we can see it. Alright, I think this time around, for sure, we don't have to be scared of Maro. And we're going to be scared now. Grabe, real world na yung lahat. Ewan ko na yung makatakas ka pa doon. Bagi namin ang idol namin si Leo. Oo. Na at your service. Nandun sa Indonesia ngayon. It's a big fight around the turtle. Pero parang ayaw yatang i-take ng Occupy Thrones. Nakulong na sila sa loob ng real world. Pero kinasin lagad ni Sagan. Getting ready to absorb the damage from the Hayabusa. And it's gonna be a fight over the turtle. Sa likod, naglalaban pa rin ng mga mid-laner natin. Stolen! The steal from Leo. And Occupy throws their fighting back. They take down King and RQ Akira. Wala nang naiwan sa kanilang tanke. Naubos na yung kanilang far power. And it's, it's Occupy Thrones reclaiming the throne. Pag pinarod mo yung group stage performance niya kay Joy, actually, gar parang ganun din yung laruan nila. May, may, may taga-protecta kay King. Kapag maganda yung opening, doon lang sila pumapasok. And yun yun na ma-maximize ng Occupy Thrones. Tulad niyan, mm -hmm. parang sila yung uh, nangiirata. Yes. Or RQ Akira. So literally, pinapaseo nila yung kalaban nila sa tempo nitong Joy. They're, wait, they're not dictating it, they're making the enemy dance. Kumbaga yung music ay galing kay Occupy Thrones. Tama. Ang nag a ng rhythm ay si Steve. Uy! Uy! Luis! Is, grabe si Luis out of nowhere! Good angle! Pero, ang follow-up damage ay nasaan? Ang kurat ni Maru talaga. Grabe. Not maku talaga. Ayan. Leo. And just like that, Leo has an opening to go in for the Ugi Shadow Kill. Nakuha niya yung Joy. 
Again, beautiful capitalization galing dito sa Occupy Thrones. Kakasabi lang natin, di ba? Eh, yun, nakuli nga nila si Luis with a very, against the very aggressive play. Yeah, talaga naghihintay ang Occupy, ang uh, RQ Kira for the perfect timing for its Occupy Thrones making the aggressive movements kick. Nang galing dito kay Luis, pero again, diba? buhay pa rin si Maro. Basta may cooldown, basta may sipa eh. Basta may sipa, si sipa, si sipa si Luis eh. And I think, slowly nakuha na ng Occupy Thrones yung tempo niya. Look at this, it's a real world being copied by Fury77 dito sa Valentina na ito. Be taken out here, and yung Occupy Thrones, they're gonna maximize yung mga minions sa gitna. And si Leo, habang cooldown yung Ugi Shadow Kills, he's gonna do the damage! Para naman pwede pumasok ang kanyang mga teammates dito sa laban na ito with the brilliance! Oh my goodness, girl, look at Taka, Tegashi! Ready, ready to go for the fight. The counter engage will as RQ again. Such an amazing entry from RRQ Brazil Hulk. Shane na iwan sa may front line pero King hinampas dalawang beses ni Hulk. At pa rin rin maro grabe yung synergy double hampas and that brings down the jungler of RRQ Akira and Occupy Thrones continues to establish the lead against Rockheart. So nung sila minat kanina na uubusan na sila na steam. How oh do they get out of this? Ewan ko, basta na, toto na eh. Leo, Leo! Leo! Nako, you are in a very bad situation. Nice Ugi Shadow kill though. Here's a follow-up mula kay Maro. It's not gonna be enough though. The full force of RRQ Akira are now on the chase. Pero look at that. Occupy Thrones, tinatagbaho naman yung bot lane. Yun lang, boss. Naiwan si Leo sa Jakarta. Ayun. Kickback. Yan botok si Luis. Si Sipa mag-isa. Alam niyang medyo malayo yung teammate siya. Pero looks like it's not gonna be enough. Dahil nga sa positioning. Way too late, here comes the follow-up. The cavalry has arrived! Fires off my drones! Enough to push back into RRQ Akira. It's a bit of a calm. It's a calm. Because Luis is out of the way. Okay. Sipa! Sipa! Speaking of, Sipa is not in the way. Here's Fury 77. Getting the Valentina kill, but there's an order of brilliance from Gato. Real world manipulation is not in the way. There's no way to get the Lunok. And finally, RRQ Akira gets a breather against Occupy Thrones. I'm so proud. I am so proud, indeed. Oh, Leo? Naku po! Uy, Shadow Kill! Naistan sa tali! There's the Wind of Danger! Beautiful timing mula kay Gustel Gusta! Here comes the backup mula kay Luis! Naku po! Tumalong yung, ano, shoot! Yung shoot po, okay lang! Sabat makin ito! Oh my! Okay, my Thrones! Without Leo, 30 seconds without the Hayabusa po. Okay, problem! Ang RRQ Akira si Ganon, kaka-uwi lang. Wala rin si King dito, though. Pero nandyan, yung ibang heroes ng RRQ Akira, Brody, in the middle lane. Looks like, papabayaan na to ng Brazil. They don't really have a choice right now, Occupy Thrones. Kailangan nilang mag-clear lang. Leo is out. 4v5. Oh, Luis! 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 Si Luis! Kick back! Here we go again! Round 2! Ready fight! Fury 7 pa na huli niya. Beautiful! Walang real-world manipulation para dito sa Occupy Thrones. Wala silang wave clear! Si King! Si King sa may top lane! Si King sa top lane! We split push! My God, that should be enough. Good damage output. And I think they will still have some wave clear. Pero dahan-dahan ng lumiliit ang mapa ng Occupy Thrones. Ito ang experience ng mga kuya sa RRQ Akira. Better movements on the map. Now they are on the base of Occupy Thrones. Minion Waves, yun ang tanong ngayon kung enough yung uh, hawak nila para makapag-push ng base halt. Sino sustain yung damage output ng RRQ Akira dito? Here comes the Ruby DD play! Trout! Trying to do his very best to support si Gato. Ooh. At yung Ruby did play oh niyo, enough goodness. to push back Argo Aker. Pero lumalaban pa rin naman sila. Still a one for one. Gusto na gusto for Leo. Very nice copy of the uh, third part memory from Fury 77. Napatay niya si Gusta La Gusta. But again, the story of this game is RRQ Akira. Nakahanap sila ng recovery window. And they pulled through. Now they are leading by... Small margin, pero tignan nyo yung base. Yung... Sa average game time ng M4, lapis na tayo na. sa 15 minutes, OT na. Oh. Ito na, ang oras nila. Sabi nila, charge R, Filipino execration counterpart. Ito na, here comes Takashi. Takashi, I mean. Pero, wala pa siyang damage output. Nasa agad pa si Gado. Looking for an entry, looking for the angle. Pero wala siyang flicker. Imposible. Ang Ruby DD. Ito Four na, fast break. Fast break ni Luis. Naku po, nakita. Naispatan. Again, vision critical yan. Oh. They fight the right target. Gado, ang nahuli nila. Mabubuhay pa kaya hindi. Gusta lang, gusta! Wind of Nature, flicker out! And si Leo, walang pang-abot. The outplays are real. Brody is alive and hot na iwan 
sa gitna Leo ginagamit ng mga shadow para makapag-micro pero si King sustaining the front line yung, yung base, base yung base may sariling kalaban no po kaya bang umatras okay my throws in time I think they will be able to defend with the minions at nakuha pa sila ng kill dito kay King pero ito na ang Luis. cavalry netong RRQ Luis mali yata ang angulo dun sa sipa na yun Ooh. he'll still be able to take out home. the base the base the base is the next target dito Luis walang sipa pero pwede pa siyang mamba si Maro ano kaya gagawin ko dito sa ating sauna na umo ng Occupy Thrones Ete mo. kailangan masilip ni Gado yung tamang angulo wala pa sila nakukuwang kill dito for the Lunox pero again nangyari na kahapon to problem is magkakaroon na flicker in 20 seconds si Joe Leo nakikipaglaro lang sa may bandang unahan pero si King si King tamang si King tamang ano eh side push eh yun nga eh kaya biglang nag goal yung Occupy Thrones guys nasa taas si King i-game na kaya natin to si King man feeling XB lane <laughs> De, pero at all is still good for the kingdom as RRQ are getting ready to take the Lord on their side. Tekashi confident siya nag-hold ng Lord. Kayang-kaya niyang gawin niya and I can do this all day. And there you go. Sa likod naman, ang Occupy Throne. Sino ang unang pagpupul ng trigger? Yuri 77, ninako niya yung bravest Venus fighter. fighter. So meron siyang Pinoy sa side niya. So kahit paano may konting, Pinoy. May konting ano, may konting buff. Oh. May, may, may Pinoy sa side. May Pinoy sa side niya. Pero ito na ang RQ Akira, pumasok na si King, nakita nila dito si Hulk! Ah, makunat ka wala! Sabi lang walang makunat sa apat! Pero si Hulk, puwabal pa kayo ng buhay with the appraiser's rack! Immortality will be popped up here! Oh! Fury 7-7! Oh my god, Fury 7-7! Gato goes down! Oh my goodness! Lumalaban pa rin ang Oke by Thrones, lumalaban pa rin ang RQ Akira! Fury 7-7 goes down! Leo comes in with the shadow kill! On to Luis! Popping the immortality, pero buhay pa si Chow, baka katakas ba yun ng tarong? Yes! He will, pero nasa harap ng Lord ang Occupy Thrones. Meanwhile, si King oh. hinahabol ni Maro. Kanina pa niya hinahambas yung bata. Medyo delikado yung, delikado yung uh, posisyon. Bawal yan, bawal yan. Dito, bawal yan. <laughs> Tingil mo yan. <laughs> Grabe. Ito na si Maro at si Leo. Nahuli nila ang jungler ng RRQ Akira. That is big! 20 minutes na, Kuya Midnight! TikTok timers na! Tekashi! Tekashi! Kita nila si Leo dito! Ang bawi! And that is also the jungler of OT down! Ginamit ang Wind of Nature para mag-grow as a player. Lumabas sa shadow, pero nandoon yung tira ni Brody. And now, without both junglers, RRQ Akira still healthy enough to take the Lord! 3v4, pero wala sa posisyon na lumaban o mag-contest ang Occupied Thrones. It's looking like a free lord para dito sa RRQ Akim. Luis! Si Maro at si Gado, tatry pa rin na gumawa, gumawa ng galawan. This is the Hilda, nasa loob sila ng bush. Pero hindi enough yung region. Pero nandiyan na yung Ruby DD play from Gado. For unfortunately, wala siyang nakombo. Hulk, nakakulong sa loob ng Relord Manipulation. Fury 77, still looking for potential ultimate steals. Pero this is the main problem, Rockheart. Healthy pa din yung RRQ Brazil. Game na game pa rin sila. Ready to go for the Lord. Game time. It's game time. 21 oh minutes si Maro. Hindi pa rin niya ibibigay na libre ng Lord. Kukuha pa rin siya ng vision around the Lord area. Pero kompleto na ang Brazil. Ready na sila to go for the one big push. Bend the throne. Yeah, Delikado yun. Delikado nga. Delikado yun. Yeah. Laban na. Ano ang gagawin dito ng Argo Akin? Nagamit ng Liquid Seal. The Lord is already in the middle. It's a good kickback. Pula dito kaila Luis. Pero si Hulk ang napili nila. Lord Savage though. is the real Lord wailing on the base. And sa likod naman, eh, nag-dubay ng time to si Maro. It's just not gonna be enough. Pero, mission success for now. It's still a 4v5. Medyo pwede pa na mag-ilid. Very commendable sacrificial move coming out from Maro, pero Leo, here comes the Hayabus on the front line. Hindi niya no, kaya. Hindi yung kaya. damage output ni Sagan, he goes down! Nasunog na at ang trono ay inoko pa na. Oh my goodness, RQ Akira, they're ready to go for it. And with the kill on to Hulk, that could be it. Malalambot na lang na iwan para dito sa Occupy Thrones. And just like that, RRQ Brazil sweeps Occupy Thrones.